We have a brand new 7 billion parameter model from Mistral AI and that is doing quite a bit good on a lot of benchmarks. If you do not know Mistral AI, there is a very good chance that you might have read this news. Four week old AI startup France from France, Mistral AI raises $113 million despite no product and little staff. This is a news that came in June 22, 20, 2023. At that time, they did not have a product, but today or probably yesterday, what they did is they actually released the model on Torrent. So they actually shared a magnet link and people were wo wondering what was a magnet link. And it turns out that it is a model. In fact, they have released two different models. One is the base Mistral 7 billion parameter model V0.1. And the second one is a Mistral 7 billion parameter model, the Instruct model V0.1. So these two models come with a very nice, very um, ambitious announcement. I would like to go into the announcement. But before that, I would like to also point out that this article says that they do not have or they have little stuff. But if you go to the model release page, you can actually see a lot of good stuffs like at least like I know a couple of names who uh, who are quite popular on Twitter, at least in the LLM space. So it seems like they've got good stuff and also their model architecture prioritizes having a faster inference like they have got new techniques like group query attention, sliding video attention and BP tokenizer that they've used for um, for faster inference. Keeping all this aside, if you go to their launch page, what it says, it says bringing open AI models to the frontier. I don't know if this is pun intended or it is just like they just wanted to say that bringing open AI models to the frontier. It's with the space definitely, of course, and it's lowercase, but it's open AI. Anyways, why are we building Mr. AI? And it goes into the details about how the world has seen all these open source tools in the past, like WebKit, like Linux operating system, like Kubernetes that basically, you know, all these engines run the internet and they've gone into the details about wh what is happening in the current world of AI and why generative AI needs open models. And as a first step, they're releasing the first model, which is Mistral 7 billion parameter model. And according to them, it outperforms all currently available open models, including the Llama 2 7 billion parameter models. In fact, they are claiming that in some of the benchmarks, it beats even the 13 billion parameter model on coding like English and coding benchmarks. Before we take their actual result as the face value. So the one of the prolific fine tuners that I respect a lot is Technium. So Technium managed to run some of the benchmarks. So on big bench, Mistral beat 7 billion parameter Llama 2, but does not beat 13 billion parameter Llama 2. On AGI Evil, it beats Mistral 7 billion, beats the Llama to 7 billion. And on Truthful QA, it actually beats the 7 billion Llama 2 and 13 billion Llama 2. So even though it is not in every single benchmark, I kind of respect what the company has said. And I kind of see that, you know, they have done something quite good in this model. That is the reason why it is performing while people are still trying to figure out why it is doing good. So there are rumors that maybe they have used like a lot of data, no details about what is the training data that they have used and how far that has helped them. So there is no details around how they have beaten all these things. And also there is no details around how they're going to justify this money. I know this is quite an ambitious thing to say, like, you know, generative AI needs open models, but also a company that raised funding needs to make money. I mean, otherwise nobody will give you money in the first place. Um, that's why I don't get funding for my YouTube channel. So on the same line, uh, Mistral 7 billion parameter models performance demonstrates what small models can do with enough conviction. I think this is a statement that I do not take lightly. If you have seen the news, I, which I did not cover, maybe I'll cover it in the AI news in the week. Microsoft is trying to actually build smaller models. So Microsoft is in fact focusing on building smaller models that can run easily on either single GPU or on edge devices. 
So if you see all the efforts that have gone into quantization or GGUF model, the Lama CPP, everything, in fact, Mark Zuckerberg validated this, acknowledged this, but all these things were like, okay, what do we do with small models? I think a lot of people take this as a joke. Like when we publish videos, people are like, hey, you just published a 7 billion parameter tutorial. Why do you want another one? I think the world needs a lot of smaller models. That's what I believe strongly. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. So Mistral AI has tracked the small model performance or at least they have tracked any model that has got 60% or above in MMLU. And in the last two years, they're saying from 280 billion gopher model, then it went to 70 billion chinchilla model. And then now we have got the 34 billion parameter Lama to model and very new, the brand new Mistral 7 billion parameter model. They're saying that it scored more than 60% on MMLU. It's quite a big claim. And again, like we know at this point that I'm not a big fan of benchmarks, to be honest, like we would definitely need to try check the model, try the model and then see it. Like I would definitely want to do it, not in this video, on a different video. But the greatest thing, the greatest thing about all of this is Mistral 7 billion parameter model is released with Apache 2.0 license and making it usable without any restrictions anywhere. You don't have any kind of restrictions to use this model and they have also opened their GitHub repository for you to go use their code, learn some of the techniques. Like for example, they go into the details about what is the sliding window attention that they are using? How is it different from vanilla attention and how it is going to help you in speeding up the inference process. So they go into this detail. And if you were to use this model, one, you can go here uh, into their repository and then use anything that you want. Or the easiest option is like, if you are a fan of hugging face transformers, you can go here and then use it. And like I said, they've released two models. One is the instruct model, which is the instruction fine tuned model. And then the second one is the base model, the 7 billion parameter model, which you can go ahead and then read about it. And according to them, Mistral 7 billion V 0.1 outperforms Llama to 13 billion on all benchmarks. And we just saw some of the examples from Technium where it does not do it. But either way, I'm really looking forward to see how this model performs, especially as a matter of fact that the company has raised 113 billion, 13 million, I said billion, 13 million dollars. While they have raised 113 million dollars, they are also going for open AI models. So they want to bring open AI models to the frontier, pun intended. See you in another video. Happy prompting.